Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you're having a fantastic start to your day. Uh, I'm just getting started on mine. Decided to shower up, get ready so I could feel good. And you know what? I don't. I don't know why, but on my days off, I feel exhausted. I wish I felt that way at work, and then on my weekend, I felt amazing. That never seems to be how it works out. I'm always just tired and groggy on my days off. I should be hyped. I should be energized. This is my my freedom. But it, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have that same issue where after work or school on your weekend, you're exhausted. You're just tired. And then when you go back to work, you get energy. And I don't know why that is for me, but it is. Is it survival instinct? Is that what's going on? Is this like an, a, a deep down primal like conditioning? Let me know. Check out the homie right there. Look at that little guy. He's just chilling. I'm gonna leave him alone though. Okay, so one of my buddies is in from out of town. I'm gonna be watching the hockey game with them, which is exciting. Uh, we're gonna be heading to Boston Pizza, seeing Edmonton versus Colorado game one. I don't know who I'm cheering for yet though. I have allegiances to both sides and neither side, so it's kind of easy. It's just gonna be a fun hockey game. Oh, we're with the homeboy, Brian. We're downtown Vancouver. I don't know where we are. We're in a parking garage somewhere. Oh. We're gonna be heading out downtown, seeing what we can find. Okay, so we just had the wildest, no cameras allowed encounter. Tom Holland was here. And he invited us to hang out with him, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, and for some reason, Kim Jong-un. And we had the wildest time. Dude, remember when Tom Holland was like, hey, take the shot? And you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, take the shot. And you're like, no, no, no. And Kim Jong-un takes <laughs> both of them and just hammers them back. You know, it was the first thing I was like, yo, that's cool, you know, get the Avengers. My boy Kim showed up, and I'm like, "What's going on here?" Over. Yeah. Next thing you know, Trudeau shows up, and he's like, "Hey, you're causing a diplomatic situation." We're like, "What does that mean?" And he kept saying, "You're causing a diplomatic situation. You're causing a diplomatic situation." We're like, "Hey, calm down, bro. Calm down." He goes, "You're causing a diplomatic situation in my mouth," and he just starts downing a bottle of Grey Goose and we're like, Justin, yo, chill, Justin. It was crazy. Yeah, I'm not from Vancouver, but that might be the best experience I've ever had in my life. Dude, it was legit one of the most fun things we've ever had happen. I'm, I'm a little happy that I stayed sober during it because I could enjoy what was going on. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. But uh, yeah, if you guys are waiting for either Kim Jong-un or Justin Trudeau to do anything tomorrow, uh, not don't. No nah, they're out of commission. All right, guys. This area may seem non-assuming right now, but believe it or not, this very spot is the first time I ever met Kate. She was right there, and she said, yeah, look, that's Kate right there. Oh, my goodness, Kate, you look so beautiful. How are you doing? I met Kate right here, uh, and I thought that it was like a really cool, interesting way that we met. We were working for the same company. Uh, months later, I find out she's like, yeah, I didn't want to talk to you because you looked like a Sasquatch, because you jumped across the street in two steps, and it was weird and unsettling. <laughs> and I didn't know how to react to that, oh, word? <coughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> I didn't seem chill and cool. She's like, nah, you jumped across that entire street in two steps. It was weird. I, I didn't really want to talk to you. I have unironically known you longer than you've been with her. You have. You've known me way longer than I've been with Kate now. It's the first time I've ever heard that story and it's f***ing hilarious. <laughs> I don't like telling it because it's not cute. It's just kind of terrifying. Your ass watch. <laughs> yeah. Check out that view. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the camera reversed. Check out that there view. There you go. Yo, is that the f hatchet, dude? What? You know, we go smash, smash, smash. <laughs> I love that guy. To you as well. What? To you as well. 
Okay, so I am back home. <laughs> I'm hanging out with Kate now. I think we're going to end the vlog. Kate's had a busy day. Yes. I had a busy day. Yes. Uh, tomorrow it's back to work. Back to work. Uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time. Oh, it's rotation. Oh, did I bang your knee? No. Okay, good.